Hello guys, Four Star here, back with another NFL Your Video. This time is going to be Berlin versus Amsterdam, and Amsterdam is sporting a four-game win streak, trying to go Week Five, five and zero, oh, and will be the only undefeated team in this league so far. And the Thunder trying to bounce back after two straight losses. Uh, the guys to watch is Kaylin Blair. He's been doing a pretty good job this season, even though he did have some bad games in those losses. But still, one of the better quarterbacks in the league. And for the Admirals, you got Hunter McFarlane, who is definitely um, head over heels the MVP of the league right now. As you can see, that rush offense is all due to him. And uh, he is a good Swiss Army knife as he can almost do it all. He can catch. He can run. He's gotten, I believe, three receiving touchdowns and I believe over five rushing touchdowns. And we're only four weeks in. So... Let's get into it and let's see what happens in Berlin. We're in Berlin, Germany, and ready for a great matchup. Welcome to this battle between division rivals from the AFC North. Berlin squares off against Amsterdam. A lone setback. Go, baby, rock and roll. Rowing. He jumps and makes the catch. Copeland takes him down at the 37 yard line. With a deep throw to the right side. And he slips out of bounds at the 19. Look here. He does two things perfectly on this one. They'll bring the play. With the pass, off and running. Touchdown, Admiral. Watch this play. He's able to find a hole in the defense and he gets into the end zone. Now that's an example of how to use your personnel in the red zone and how to create mismatches. He'll pass on first down. Gets rid of it. He finds his man, the 30, the 40, and he's pushed out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Pass play here on first down. Throwing. And it's caught. Five. Touchdown, Thunder. I tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. With the carry, setting up play action, gets rid of it, and it's caught. Copeland records the stop. It's three times in this drive they've been able to pick up a first down. Gunning this one to the end zone. Touchdown, Amsterdam. Watch this catch by the tight end. I always say the tight end is always more of a threat in the red zone. He's a big target, and his skills sometimes cause matchup problems for the defense. To carry it. Play action. Under pressure. Looking deep to the right. The defense has it. The 40. The 30. The 20. Has room. The 10. Dives. Touchdown. The defense forces the turnover. Gets it in for the touchdown. Drops back. Throwing. He goes up and grabs a great one-on-one -on -one stop by Martin. Barrett nails his quarterback using three linebackers. On the move. And he hits his target. And he's forced out of bounds at the eight. With the pass, pullback has it with room to roam. Touchdown, Thunder. They gamble defensively and get burned with the touchdown pass. He's one of those guys who doesn't have to pressure. Dropping back. Humps. Closing in. He felt the pressure coming, but he couldn't get the ball out. He's got to do a better job of making it. Off the side of his foot. They'll stop this one where it went out. They're inside the 20. They got a touchdown out of it. Dropping back to pass on first down. With all day to throw. Throwing it away. Flags down. They might get them for roughing. Personal foul. Loving the passer. Number 97. Automatic first down. The goal is roughing the passer. That's a good call. The Admirals come out in a 4-3. With the throw. And he hits his target. Touchdown, Berlin. This is an option route. The receiver's route depends on the defense he sees. But the quarterback has to see the same thing to make it work. Here, they're both. We'll work out of the shotgun. 
Launches this one to the right. And he just can't hang on. Even though that pass was incomplete. Then comes out in a 4-3. Dropping back a pass on first down. Throws it. Right on target to the wide receiver. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move to change. The Admirals come out in a 4-3. The blitz is on. Unleashes the deep ball. Five. Touchdown, Berlin. That's another touchdown catch for him today. Make it four. Gets the pass off. Short pass completed to the wide receiver on the right side. Diaz makes the tackle. That's it. Berlin using three linebackers. On the call. The 40. Midfield. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. He finds his way into the end zone. Touchdown. And he didn't look. A little misdirection. Walker comes up to make the play. Go make the play. Throws it. Picked off. The 40. Blair has that one picked off. The ball and the defender and the receiver all got. Here they come with the throw. And he makes the grab. Diaz makes the tackle. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. Number 35. On the got all first down. face mask on. Rolling right. To the end zone. Touchdown, Admiral. Touchdown, Admiral. This is his third touchdown catch of the game. It's been a 4-3. They're blitzing. Under pressure. He gets there and pulls him down from behind. You got to give a lot of credit to this defensive line. They got a good push in the middle. Drops back. Looking for something long. No completion there. That was a costly drop. Yeah, all that much. Rolling. And this pass is completed. Now that's a stiff one. They'll knock him out of bounds. At the 30 yard line. Berlin lines up in a 4 3. Crosses it out to the right. Tia records the stop. Great run there. That'll be a first down. Berlin lines up in a 4 3. Hands it off. Fakes the handoff. Gets the pass off. Touchdown, Admiral. Henson puts points on the board with that pass. No question they'll try to convert here on fourth down. With the pass, he hits his receiver. Gilbert is there on the stop at the 35-yard line. Blair back in the shotgun. Throwing. And he drops the pass. Yet another drop for him. Gets the pass off. It's going the other way. Big mistake by the way. Then comes out in their nickel package. With the pass. He hits his receiver. And he stops at the 48. That's his third tackle of the contest. It's a blitz. With the throw. And he just can't hang it. He just dropped his fourth pass. Out of the shotgun. Gets rid of it. And he makes, no, he can't hold it in. That is his fifth mishandled pass. Admirals come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. With the throw, Graham is there on the stop at the 33-yard line. With that pass, he closes in on 300 yards. They are creative, but they can create yards by using their speed and making the defenders miss tackle. The 10, 5. Touchdown, Thunder. Touchdown, Blair Berlin. throws for a touchdown. What else is new? He's thrown for five of them. The onside kick is off. Amsterdam recovers. They have the lead. The clock's running out. Two offenses in perfect rhythm today. Lighting up the scoreboard. So in a shootout victory for the Admirals, the 
uh it was the score was 42 to 35 what a game this was uh Kalen Blair was the maker Blake prayer he got five touchdowns 313 yards and three costly picks that all resulted I believe in scores 18 to 38 he got sacked only one time he got he got hit a lot this game he took a while of he took a whooping in this game Holcomb, 44 yards out of six attempts. It was straight passing in this game. And you could tell by the stats. Two 100-yard receivers, McCready and Parrish in that game. Holcomb with three receptions. Kennedy, Sam Breeden, Glenn Gordon all getting touchdowns. This was five touchdowns to five different receivers. Unbelievable from the veteran quarterback, Kalen Blair. I believe that takes his total to 17 this season. What an amazing game. Matt Bush and Bill Campbell get their sacks on the day. And uh, there were no interceptions for the Admirals. The Admirals uh, uh, offense. All right, now Avery Henson, he played a solid game. Four touchdowns and still under 200 yards. What an amazing game this was. He had... Uh, he he was sacked twice, and his only his longest reception was 21 yards. But the player of the game, Hunter McFarland, once again playing out of his mind, 140 rushing yards and a touchdown. The way he shined was on the receiving end, four reception, 31 yards, and two touchdowns, making his total of three today. That was an amazing, amazing game. And the three ints for the Admirals defense: Erickson, Wingrove. And Vinnie Williams, along with one sack by Baron Thomas. What a heck of a game here. Let's take a look at the receiving. 34, 39 yards, 31 yards, 67 yards. All four receptions for McKinney, Farland, and Thomas. And Bobby Blizzard, the rookie. Nice name, cool name. Three receptions, 41 yards, and a touchdown. Joe Hall with a touchdown. And two touchdowns for Hunter McFarlane, like we said before. So let's go to the standings. So here in the standings, the lone the lone winners here, the lone first place team, the Amsterdam Admirals with an amazing 5-0 start. Uh, just a, a completely great offense along with a solid defense. And, of course, with the MVP and running back here uh, with Hunter McFarlane. You can't go wrong. They are uh, undoubtedly one of the best teams here in the Revival. Cologne and Scotland, uh, I believe they play each other for the game of the week. So we're going to see who takes that second place spot. Fire Monarchs are 2-2. Two and two. The Thunder, after a 2-0 and start, a solid 2-0 and start, they lose three straight. And they will end up 2-3. and three. On the come up here is Frankfurt in Hamburg, who can take that spot away from the Thunder. So, like I said before, our next game is the Centurions and the Claymores. Thank you guys for watching this high, high-scoring, action-packed game. 42-23 was the final score. Thank you guys for watching.